Hey you guys, this is Daphne Oh, and I'm back with another short YouTube video. Um, Y'all know when I learn new things, I like to share it with you guys. Some of you probably already know about this. Um, this is about the assistant menu on certain Samsung devices um, and phones. I'm showing you this guys on my Galaxy S6 Lite, but I know it's available also on like the Galaxy S7 tab. Um, the S22 Plus series and the S21 series and the A51 series, you can find that on there as well. But you go into your uh, settings, pull down the notification bars, go into your settings, and you're going to go into um, accessibilities. Now, on like different phones, it's probably in different, I know it's going to be on accessibilities. Like here you have to go to, uh, I don't know, yeah, <laughs> interactions. And then you're going to see assisted means. But like on your phone, it might not be in under interactions, it might be under something else under accessibility. Then you have to allow it. And there's a little waffle thing. You see a little waffle thing going to pop up. And you can move all around the screen where you want it. And basically what it does is give you a shortcut menu to like use your home buttons, your back buttons, um, your all apps, your recent app buttons, um, screenshot. And I'm going to show you. It's going to have a... It's going to have the settings up here for the assistant menus as well. Where you can like adjust your shortcuts to what you need i'm trying not to ramble i have a hard time thinking when i do these voiceovers but i'm clicking on the menu settings to show you that you can select which items you want on your assistant menu yeah you know y'all knew what i was saying all right right now all those are what i got up there right now you know the recent the home back and stuff but if i wanted to add like talk to bitsby or the brightness or screen rotation i could add that whatever you use most you could um, add it to your shortcut menu i don't think i would be using the assistant menu because i really don't need it but i mean there's maybe some of y'all who do need it who, who may you know find this useful so just want to show you guys what i learned but i don't think i will be using it any i'm gonna just go through here and show y'all how each one of these um work you know that's your back button of course click on recent it brings up all the recent um apps that you just did you use and i should have clicked on home so to show you how the home is i clicked on all screen and yes the screen went black the whole video stopped. The screen went black and I had to restart. <laughs> and I'm clicking on vibe. Y'all can hear the wind blowing in the background. I'm outside doing this voiceover. I'm always outside doing the voiceover. I'm not professional. I say that in all my videos. So you're going to hear all the black background. La, la, la. Not black. All the background noises in my video. Did a screenshot. Show you a little screenshot. Me comes up as always. And you know, you can do a little editing and show you a little screenshot that you did if you want to. I'm not really showing details on that because that's not what this video is about. I'm a discard this and get out of it. I'm not saving that. But, you know, I'm just showing you what each little option does. And this one, the cursor. Okay, no. I ain't went to the cursor. Uh, that's, you're supposed to be able to use your two fingers to zoom in and zoom out. Maybe I should have went in an app to actually show that, and I did not do that. The cursor, I got confused with the cursor. I ain't gonna lie, and y'all gonna see what I'm talking about. I click on cursor. You see a little white cursor that popped up there? Okay, I'm blind, y'all. I didn't see the little white cursor up there. And I had absolutely no idea what this option was for. I'm like, okay, maybe I'm missing something. I don't, I don't, I don't know what this is for. I don't know what it does. Um, I went into the Samson Notes app, <laughs> and I clicked on the cursor again to see if it had something to do with like, uh, like texting or I mean writing. You know, like you got to write little text box right up or whatnot. And I clicked on the cursor again. A little cursor was up there on the screen. I still hadn't paid it no mind. I hadn't paid it a little cursor no mind. I'm still sitting here like, what is this? I don't look. The cursor is moving around, but you know, I had no. I, <laughs> I ain't know what I was doing. I, and I was like, well, you know, when I do the voiceover, I'm gonna just let them know. I have no idea what the cursor uh, <laughs> option is for because I, I wasn't seeing nothing vis visible on um, on the screen. But you know. Yeah, that's what the cursor do. Put a little cursor on the screen. And I just went back to the home button. And then, you, of course, you have your power off button. Shows you how to um, power off your uh, device. You got the screen control. I don't even know what that was. I don't even think I clicked on it. But anyway, you know, maybe some of you guys out here find this useful. Um, I do not. I don't need it. I'm going to go back and I'm going to untoggle it because I really don't need it. But, you know, if you did find this useful... Um, you know it was worth me making this video we made it to the end i thank you guys for watching i will see you all in the next one bye